office ya secondary. Kutoka nasari mpaka baga form 4. The East African Legislative Assembly has managed to debate, adopt, and pass the 2017-2018 East African Community Budget with strict timelines. The House, having its last sitting this afternoon, however, raised concern at the manner in which funding will be raised following lack of commitment by some partner states to remit contributions to the region's kitty. Our Timothy Otieno is there for us. With the House having its final sitting Thursday, members were determined to ensure the most important House business, the budget, was dealt with before closing business. Yeah. And after hours of debate, the 11 billion Kenya shilling budget was approved, but not without apprehension. The Secretariat, which is set to receive 57% of the approved funds, was put to task to account over the last financial year's budget. The glorification that we've received with 43% at the Secretariat, is it worth it to give 57% in the coming financial year? These are fundamental questions to answer. So from May 2016 to February uh, 2017, we have reduced our travel budget by $3.4 million. So I know the difference between expenditures and savings. And economically, these two words mean that there's something different. Last year, the Secretary General was accused of procurement fraud, leading to possible loss of millions of shillings at the regional body, claims that he denied. And for a budget largely funded by foreign donors, the problem of partner states' contribution may prove a challenge. Burundi, for instance, already owes the community about 8 million shillings, and it's not the only country in debt. It's going to be a challenge. And I, and I think political goodwill is needed to sort out this problem. If the budget is charged in a percentage form from all revenues of partner states, in my opinion, that will then be in such a way that the budgetary financing of partner states follows commensurately the financing of the East African community. But even as the House winds up its term, a looming crisis awaits the next assembly that was set to be sworn in on Monday. And it appears that swearing-in ceremony may not take place, at least for now. The Speaker of the East Africa Legislative Assembly has directed for a postponement of the swearing-in ceremony for at least two weeks to provide Kenya with sufficient time to provide nine names to the regional body. Until then, perhaps the most important organ of the East Africa community, its legislative arm, may be paralyzed until Kenya 